Okay, so I've been in the world of health and wellness for quite a while. And one of the questions that I frequently get asked by clients and friends and just, you know, people on Instagram, uh, you know, what is a good healthy skincare brand um, that I can use, you know, just to whether it's just to clean my face or to prevent acne or um, for anti-aging uh, purposes, because, you know, what we put on our skin goes directly into our bloodstream. And if we are taking care of what we are eating and uh, making sure to keep a really clean diet, then it's also going to be really important to make sure to put healthy uh, products on our skin. And we wouldn't wanna be putting something with a lot of harsh chemicals um, on our skin because like I said, it goes directly into your bloodstream and we don't want that stuff inside of us. If you wouldn't eat it, then don't put it on your skin. So getting a healthy skincare company that you can um, trust is really important. There is one that I really love and that I wanted to share about today with you guys because I know that um, you guys might find it helpful and uh, they're just, you know, they're a very simple, honest company and they're very environmentally conscious and I just, I really love their products. They're so clean and they are very like 100% natural and I just, every time I use them, I feel like a goddess. Like the way that they smell, ugh. I thought I'd share it with you guys today so that you guys can know about it and you know possibly bring it into your life too without further ado the company that i'm talking about is living libations this is one of their bottles this is their sea buckthorn best skin ever oil and living libations they care a lot about bringing quality um healthy beauty care products to people that like I said before, are not filled with any sort of like chemicals or just like weird things. It's literally just um, high quality oils and high quality essential oils uh, in most of their products, especially like, you know, definitely in their best skin ever products. Um, but they have, you know, they have tons of products. They have products for um, your face, products for your body, products for your hair, products for your, um, for dental care and oral health, and um, they sell essential oils. And they're all really, really clean and is something that I feel confident using. And um, like I said, this is the, be the Sea Buckthorn Best Skin Ever. And I have been using it for a couple weeks and I love it. Like I said, I wish, I wish there was such a thing as smell-o-vision because this smells so amazing. I don't, there's a, there's a bunch of essential oils in here, so I don't know exactly what it is that I'm smelling, but it's just the whole um, symphony of scents that's in here is amazing. And what I do every morning is I literally just wash my face with water and then I put this on and that's like, the simplest routine that I do. If I have time and I'm looking to do like more of a morning skincare routine, what I'll do is I'll take one of their hemp face wash cloths and the reason that um, you know it's hemp is because it's much it's much softer um, than like a regular terry cloth kind of um, washcloth and it's less abrasive. Um, so it's not going to be as harsh on your skin, but you can still do it with a regular washcloth, but hemp is definitely what they recommend and um, what they feel is best. So yeah, that's what I have. And um, what you can do basically is you would wet the washcloth and then put a couple of drops of the sea buckthorn, or not drops, like pumps of the sea buckthorn best skin ever oil on it. And then basically you just like massage that into your face. And um, what you're doing when you do that is oil cleansing, which oil cleansing is an ancient 
um, practice for healthy skin. And it seems kind of counterintuitive because um, especially if you struggle with like acne, um, you're told to like avoid oils and like avoid, you know, getting stuff in your pores. But this, with this quality of oil and the type of oils that you're using and the way that you're using it, it will actually be cleansing and um, it will help with your acne. I personally have never like struggled with a lot of acne, but I have friends and I know people who have and they use the living libations stuff and they do what I just explained and it like helps their skin. It does not give them acne. So yeah, definitely check out their website and like read up on it if you're nervous about getting acne from uh, doing something like that. Like I said, it seems counterintuitive, but it really does help with acne as well. And um, so yeah, so then after you rub it on your face, you can just cleanse the towel off with some extra water and then you can wipe it off. I think you can also just like leave it on your face if you want like extra oil on your face and that's that it's super simple and then sometimes um, if you've seen my other videos you'll know that I like to use a gua sha so sometimes I'll do a little gua sha after I've put the oil on there to help move the lymph in my face and reduce puffiness and then what I'll do is they also have this fantastic product called do dab and I like to use it because I have a lot of um, exposure to the sun where I live and this helps with that. It also helps with acne, it helps with skin tags, it helps with melasma and many other things and basically it's just a blend of essential oils that are very healing and very good for the skin and so I really like it for that and I will just take uh, one little drop of it and put it on my finger and then Put it on different parts of like my face, my nose, and then I'll rub it in and um, it just soaks in and heals your skin. Those are the products that I currently have. Actually, wait, another thing that I have is one of their, um, it's, this is what it's called. It's basically a lip balm and um, it has a deep red color, but when you put it on, it's not as red, it's like, if you put a lot on, it makes your uh, lips more red, but if you just put a little bit on, it makes them just like nice and pink. So I like to use that as like a makeup and also use it on my cheeks sometimes or on my eyelids. And then I've also recently gotten their Everybody Loves the Sunshine Oil, and that's just like a tanning oil. You can put it on while you're tanning. Um, or put it on after you've been in the sun, and that's what I do. If I'm gonna be in the harsh sun in the middle of the day, I like to use something with a little bit of zinc in it, and Living Libations does offer a sunscreen, a very clean sunscreen that I believe has zinc in it. Um, I don't have it, but they do have something like that if you are looking for something like that as well. Just like the sea buckthorn oil, I also really love the way the, the tanning oil smells. Oh, it smells so good. It just smells like, it smells like real. You know, when you smell something that is real and natural versus something that is chemical and is a fake perfume, it's just, I don't know. Personally, I'm more drawn to the real scents and any sort of perfumes, it's like too strong, too much, too fake. I can't can't stand that and I don't want it on me or near me. Um, and so, yeah, but this stuff smells incredible. That is the skincare brand that I love and recommend to everyone because like I said, I know you can trust everything that they sell and um, they just have a wide range of products, like I said, from skincare stuff to oral health things to hair care products. And they might also have some eye care? Maybe not. <laughs> oh yeah, and they have essential oils too. So uh, if you have any desire to improve um, 
the products that you keep in your bathroom or just around for whatever, I would highly recommend Living Libations. I love them and have just like, my skin just like feels so good and so soft every time I use them. So yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if there are any other skincare brands that you guys love and if you've ever tried Living Libations and what your thoughts are on them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, 